What's up guys, Card Fighters here with my second place Spring Fest Premium Deck pro Profile. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Remichi. He gave me a very solid list to work with and it ended up working out in the end. So, let's get started with the profile. For this dragon, needs no help. Yep, yep. Two of this guy, I don't play the guy that, you know, on place, counter blast, on place, so blast one, stand something and both, and it get 10k power. I don't, I don't play that because um, it uses resources and you actually need resources in this deck. When the fighters collection try to come out and you're able to build up, so I would consider that, but right now I like this guy because he's free. And we play two of the books because if you play one, you're damage checking. Grade two lineup. For this guy, it dumps orders. That's about it. Three Grapher, one of the best grade two game cards in the game. And him being able to cut off intercepts and stopping rear guards from moving to different spots is very handy. But the but the drawing and the getting big power, like grade two game, is second to none. And play three of this. It targets problem cards, whether it's Hunley or anything problematic it, it gets rid of it and becomes 15k unboosted or if they have no rear guards it's, it's kind of blast one and draw so again it helps with your grade two game which is basically the whole point of this deck and you play one veil because it's not important enough to play two of but you still need to play it grade one lineup Four grade three searches. You need to find the dragon or the book. Three moths. Sending cards back in this deck is very important. You do a lot of drawing, so you're in fear of decking out, and the counter charging every turn matters. So three seems to be a good number. Three V blisters. Probably the best grade one to come out this year. It, it does everything in terms of a grade two game and it shuts down combos on your opponent's turn. It, it does a lot. I'm playing three V blisters because I'm playing one of the OG blister. It's pretty techy, but it works in certain situations like versus Overlord and Regalia, which is problematic. Anything restanding versus this deck is problematic. And this being searchable by this card is pretty handy. And play one of this guy. It helps in the grind game, late game. Whenever your opponent builds up big, a giant hand, this says go to eight. And then you're able to grind and win from there, which is the point. We play one of this chick. This helps with like versus Link Joker. Anything in, in the column in front of it can be targeted by card effects. So it, that can be locked. So, so it helps with that. It also helps moving your board around because with this on the field, you can move your pieces any way you want across the board. We play one of this because Narukami is Narukami. Yeah. Trigger lineup. Four of the draw sentinels. I like the draw in this deck. You, you could cut one of those for the um, D series PG, but I like the draw in this. Over trigger. Over trigger. Four of the uh, strike crit. You need to always be able to try and 
versus a mirror match or something, you never want to pitch grade threes because you have to rewrite them. So you would need this. For the Hill Guardians, you, you need it in this matchup. Like, I mean, in this meta, there's really, you know, you know, you have to play it for this crit. Being able to, you know, always send this crit back mean, means that you're never decking out. And again, you draw lots of cards. You, you go... You search cards with Ghidorah, you, you do a lot. So you need to always have something that says, I can't deck out. G-Zone. I did play for Ghidorah, but I sold her after the event because I fear that something's going to happen to Ghidorah. Then I played For this guy. Was it necessary for it? Absolutely not. But you really don't have options. So I play four of it. Versus mermaids. This is the card to go to. But you really have no other options. So so I play four. I play two overwhelm. A very solid card. I play sea breeze. Just in case I need to see breathe, never did. I play three of this okay G guard. Most of your G guards are not very good, but this is kind of solid. So I wanted to make sure that I had at least three of it. I play one of this because it could shut down combos. I play one of this because I can get resources back. All right, in terms of matchups, round one, I played Grand Blue. It was pretty easy. I made sure to not give him damage on his grade two, right? And then I went, then he rode up, then I rode up and went to Grador and he couldn't play the game. Round two, it was Nightmare Dolls. I did not have any pieces to grade two game him so and he had everything and he just pretty much won for free round three i played against regalia v regalia missed their um first grade one right and i went first so that was already at a disadvantage when they went to grade two i was able to Stride Gridor on him, and it went downhill from there. Round four, it was Jewel Knights. He had a pretty good grade two game, and so do Bugs. And um, eventually, he tried to Salome salon me, and um, I be blistered him, and it and it kind of just ended his turn. Round five, I played another Jewel Knights. He tried the grade two game being, it didn't work because Bugs grade two game is better. This card is MVP of the world right here. And when you pair that card with the moth, you have forever counter charging with a grade two game. And you're drawing cards and swinging like 29K unboosted. It's actually very strong. We had five rounds in Swiss, so that, that was the end of Swiss. In top eight, I played the same guy that I played round four. So it drew a nice again in top eight. He again, I mean, tried the grade two gaming. It didn't work. Ralph was pretty strong. And that was pretty much it. Yeah. So, so I won top eight match, moved to top four match. It ended up being a mirror match. I remember that I really didn't have pieces to grade two game him. So I ended up riding up. Also, I saw that he damage checked two of his dragons. 
So I was hoping that he didn't have the third dragon, but he did. So he ended up striding Gridora on me first, and the the Gridora grind game began. It was back and forth of rewriting and calling units, but within that, I made sure to take out his moths with this card. Because I saw that he wasn't running this crit. So he couldn't recycle. So deck out became the name of the game. And that's how it, I won. Because I, I decked him out. Because I could always send my cards back. And he couldn't. Because I made sure to take out all of his moths. In the finals. It was versus Nightmare Dolls. The same guy that I lost to in Swiss. I think. I thought the game was going pretty good on his first stride ride. I was at one damage, but all of that changed when he attacked me and joy check, crit, crit, O trigger. So I went from one to five, didn't die that turn, so survived like four more of his attacks. But on my next stride turn, I didn't have the resources to push at all. So he ended up, you know, ultimate striding me with like eight attacks. So that was it. Overall, I, I said that the event went pretty good for me. My team performed very well and I had fun. So, yeah.